Hey everybody, how's it going? You know, I got I got some questions for you. Yes, you, specifically you. Did you ever buy yourself, you know, an AK? Maybe you want to upgrade it? You know, make it something more tactical, something that'll help you out during training classes, home defense, whatever it is, shit hits the fan scenario. Did you ever think about considering that? Maybe you have a uh, dog zombie apocalypse in your area. Or maybe you just don't really care for <laughs> certain politicians telling you you can't have something because it looks scary. With a 30 caliber clip to disperse with 30 bullets within half a second. This weapon is illegal. It's a ghost gun. It's been used in crimes and cannot be detected to the manufacturer or to the owner. Of this because weapon. a vision softly creeping Left its seeds while I was sleeping And the vision Well, I got good news for you. But first I'm going to address this, okay, you guys? I'm going to address this because there are some people out there that give me crap. And I'm talking about the old-fashioned wood and metal guys. The guys that say, Niet! Rifle is fine or take that crap off my AK, or, oh no, it's ruined forever. I get it, you guys. You love the old-fashioned looking wood and metal. I get it. That's how you view the AK has to be. But for me, I love it how it is with tactical uh, stuff. I love side-folding stocks. I love the rails. I love the dust covers that can flip up. I love all those things. Now for any of you that are looking to upgrade your AK that have cool and unique parts, and I know I have been asked questions, hey Matt, where did you get those uh, rails at? Where did you get that light at? Wow, that's a cool infrared laser slash red laser. Where did you get that stuff at? And I simply tell them, of course, where I get my stuff at is from Zenico. Now, Zenico makes a lot of cool AK parts, and yes, they are based out of Moscow, Russia, and before you people start going all ape shit and start going, oh, that's the communist regime, Putin is doing some crazy stuff, he's going to take over the world, let's cut the crap, okay? I buy stuff from Russia, and yes, people are going to say, oh, is that illegal? No, it's not illegal. It's only illegal when you start buying firearms from Russia, which doesn't, you can't do that anymore because of the damn sanctions. Thanks a lot, Obama. Attention dog, you are no match for my powers. Surrender now. <laughs> Shit. So again, yes, you can buy Zenico Russian made AK parts and accessories and put them on your AK. It is not illegal. Yes, you can buy them. The only thing is the sanctions, of course, that have been put on by the Obama administration. So yes, you can buy directly from Russia and it'll be shipped from there to your house. Simple. So where can you find Zenico parts? Very simple, you guys. There are five places where you can get these parts at. And the first place, of course, is gonna be RussianThunder.com. Russia Thunder is based out of Russia. I don't know if they're in Moscow still or if they moved somewhere else. Dan, you can correct me if I'm wrong on that. But look, if you're going to buy from RussianThunder.com, you're going to pay an international shipping fee, which honestly, it's not really that much. I think it's like 15, I think it's like 15 or 20 dollars max. But if you take pictures, of course, I'm going to, I'll tell you about that later. <laughs> when you go on the Zenico website, I'll, I'll tell you about those discounts. But if you are going to buy, again, from RussianThunder.com, you're going to be paying the international shipping fee. And of course, I know people are going to be, oh, well, that's a lot, and so on and so forth. Yes, but they have great prices on their Zenico parts, and of course, they have the full catalog of Zenico parts. So, that is pretty cool. Now, the other four places are going to be based in the United States, which is a good thing for some of you guys is because you don't want to pay an international shipping fee. You don't want to have a month-long waiting period, which, to be honest, with RussianThunder.com, I can wait. I have no problem waiting, and plus it's, I don't know, it's, it's really cool to get something from Russia, so that's just me. 
But anyways, let's get on to it and let's just name the four places. And the first place I'm going to name is legionusa.com. Legionusa.com has a okay selection, to be honest with you. It's okay, but some of their stuff goes out of stock. And you got to be at the right time, right place in order to get it. So that's how that one goes. The other place is akstuff.com. Now, akstuff.com has a huge list, a huge list, and they are always in stock. So that's the best part about that. Of course, one other place I always forgot to mention, especially my Alpha Clone AK video, is Texas Shooter Supply. They have a great selection as well. I believe it's like 39 uh, Zenico parts that they can uh, that they have on their website. So definitely check them out, you guys. And last but not least is, of course, AK Operators Union Store. These guys have a very limited selection, but they have great prices. And you can also get a bunch of other things along with it, such as, I think it's a, the Goat Hunter or the Isis Hunter, so on and so forth, which is great. So check these guys out. And I know, I know, I know, some of you people want to see the new and latest things coming out. Stuff that you probably never have heard or never have seen, or just plain cool Russian things. And we're going to get to that at, of course, the Zenico Facebook page. So, I'm not even going to waste any more time. So, let's just head on over there, shall we? Well, guys, we are on Zenico's Facebook page, and as you can see, there is an AK completely decked out in Zenico parts, and... I just love Zenico. I believe that every AK should have some form of Zenico parts or accessories put on their AK because these are really well made and extremely durable. I, if you haven't seen uh, my video on the Kalesh 2P light, check the description down below. And also, Russian Thunder, along with many other businesses that uh, sales and parts are going to be in the description down below so check out all those links so we're just going to move on here yep Zenico I am following of course uh, they do videos every once in a while oh like, like right here they uh, post very new updates and everything what's going on and as you can see they say we are back in business which is very, very good. I am glad that you guys are back in business. Den, oh yeah, uh, Den runs this Facebook page. He is a very good guy. He understands a lot when it comes to the Zenico parts. Uh, he helps you out to, like with me, I wanted to source some parts for my Alpha Clone AK, and he helped me with uh, certain things that I didn't even know about. Oh man, like I said, <laughs> this is a really really good place to go if you want to be updated on very cool parts that you just don't see here in the US now let's scroll on yep there's pictures and I already talked about this with the uh, arms and hunting expo that was going on this weekend or and like I said just regular pictures nothing too much uh, they also post out like new new and improved inventions I think uh, this is a uh, cleaning cap and stuff I, you know, like I said, I don't really go really into uh, depth with this, but it looks like it helps you clean your AK, which is all good around. And, yep, just some more about how it works, which is really cool. I mean, come on, guys. I have never expected to see that in order for you to clean your AK. And then uh, then we'll explain it a little bit more if you guys have any more questions. So don't don't be hesitant or just don't worry about asking questions. He is really open to it. And just more. Oh, I love this right here. I love the goose leg where you can put that underneath your AK and you can attach a light to it, which hopefully I can put pictures. Let's check out these pictures. Yeah, you can put grips on it. It's another goose leg. Yep, grips. You can put lights. It's pretty cool what they do, which I have no problem with that. Uh, and they post some um, pictures of AKs that, you know, other people have sent to them. Uh, basically, they just post uh, pictures, you know, pretty simple stuff. More pictures, which I believe... 
that looks like a Yugo, maybe. Eh, who cares? But, oh, ooh, take a look at this. Uh, here is another new product announcement with the B10U handguard, which is, that is really cool. If you guys uh, don't want to have like a, how do you say, they do like the Picatinny rail, and a lot of people say, oh, it's the cheese grater or whatever. I have no problem with Picatinny rail. I love it. But this gives you options if you want to attach Picatinny rail or not, which is a very, very good thing because I know a lot of people like the M-Lock or the key mod rails, so on and so forth. So this gives you an extra option if you are thinking about Zeneco. And like I said, just more pictures, pistols, a new mount for optics. Oh, yep, yeah, uh, my dad has this for his AK for the extended charging handle from Zeneco, which is really cool. Uh, I believe this one's a mo modified version for the, let's see, uh, for, yeah, for the Saiega 9 or the, I'm not, I'm not going to ruin that name. <laughs> so yeah, just um, like I said, these guys are really cool and everything. Oh yeah, th this is what I was talking about. I know people ask me, could you build an Alpha Clone AK using a Draco? Yes, you can. And here's the proof right here. Proof. Pictures right here. You know what? We're just going to scroll through these. America, pictures. Like I said, guys, you can build an Alpha Clone AK using a Draco. It, it's possible. You just gotta use the uh, use machining, and make sure that everything is proper properly proportioned when it comes to the main Draco because of the uh, gas, uh, the front side gas block that is a little further back. But yes, you can do it. Uh, they work with landscape with the camo stencils and everything, which I have that on my Alpha Clone AK. Love the stencils. I'm probably going to be doing that for my other projects that I'm going to have coming up. And like I said, here anyway, we're going to take a look at these so you guys can see them. Pretty cool stuff. Like I said, I just love how that looks. I know some other people, ah, I don't like it. Eh, whatever. I like it. I wish my AK was suppressor ready. Oh yeah, this is the PT-3 butt stock, which a lot of people have been waiting for this stock to come out. It, from what I'm hearing about it, it's incredibly durable. It's, it's, <laughs> I don't know how many tests this has been pushed through and everything, and I believe it was the Speznats in Moscow, Russia, that were wanting a more durable uh, buttstock compared to their PT-1, I believe it's called. Yeah, the PT-1. But yeah, and, oh yeah, they do post uh, videos uh, through the eyes of a Speznats Special Forces operator, which, you know, which is cool. <laughs> And yeah, like I said, more pictures of AKs with Zeneca parts. Yep, this is the PT-1 stock right here, you guys, as you can see. They just wanted a lighter version, so that's why they made a PT-3. And more Zeneca parts and pictures. And like I said, guys, uh, they're really, really good about helping you out. Customer service is amazing. Some cool uh, other pictures that you can see. But... Anyways, guys, like I said, this is a really, really cool page. I love checking this out. And the best part about uh, RussianThunder.com is if you post any pictures with uh, Russian parts, like with any Zeneco parts or anything like that, I believe they still give you a 5% discount on your next order, which is incredibly amazing. And also they do do a 10% discount for any videos that you show and stuff like that with your AK just going all out with it, which is really, really good. I, I love when companies do that. It helps um, promote their parts, uh, promote their product. It helps, it just helps the consumer because, hey, I'm gonna come back to you now and I'm gonna go and buy some more parts because now I got 10% off, I got 5% off, which is really cool because that'll help you with uh, shipping and handling and fees like that. So guys, yeah. 
That's basically it, and I hope you enjoyed that. And don't uh, feel free to message Den with any questions that you have. He'll answer them. Trust me, he will. Uh, he might not get to you right away because, you know, there, there are time differences in Russia and the United States or wherever you guys are from, so you got to take that in consideration. But other than that, a very cool page. I just love coming on here and seeing what else they got new. Ooh, like, see? I never even got to see that one. But, yeah, guys, so I hope you guys found this enjoyable, and peace.